do it. We're going to do amp draw. Some people have been asking, how, how do I do that? Uh, we're going to find out what, what is the amp draw of this VTX in this camera, for example. Okay, if you're doing a build, you know, and you're working on something and you have the, 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 most, the most ridiculous small flight controller, you know, something like this. It's just tiny as can be. Or if you're still in the stone ages like me and you're and you're still running f brushed flight controllers the five volt rail on those uh, are pretty small they're not they're not very robust and it's easy to overload them with peripherals so let's let's take a look at how how do we use our meter to do an amp draw to see how how many amps is this system pulling All right, to do an amp test, to draw the amp draw, you're gonna need some things. You're gonna obviously need your meter, but you're also gonna need this, this wiring here. You're gonna need a way to plug it into your meter and then you're gonna need a way to grab a hold of the wires that you're gonna, that you're gonna work with, okay? And then you're also gonna need a, a power source. So in this case, I have I have a video on on a power so a five volt power source, okay. So we're basically going to plug this in. It's going to create five volts out and up to two amps, and we're going to measure how many amps this takes with this get up with this setup, okay. We're going to plug in our test leads to our meter, okay. The first place we want to do that is, is we want to find our common, okay. Gonna plug them in and then we're going to go over here to the amp if you if you don't have a fused so this is 10 amp max remember you can't go over 10 amps and this obviously is not going to be 10 amps but i do have quadcopters that i've done bench testing to that well exceed 10 amps you'll smoke the little you'll 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 pop the fuse inside the the meter so this is fused for 10 amps no problem over here okay if you don't have a multimeter that can do this, then you can't do what we're doing right now. So let's plug in our multimeter. And then we're just going to go up here and we're going to go to amps. And this is DC, if you see that or not. Let me zoom in on my meter. So you see here it says DC. We're working with DC voltage. We're not working with AC voltage. So you can see on this meter it automatically can choose between if you hit function. Now we're checking the amp amp draw of alternating current. We don't want that, okay? So we're DC and we're doing amp draw. Let's zoom back out here. We have our five volt regulator plugged in so we can supply five volts to this, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in line with this, okay? So you're gonna take your hot line here, okay, so, so that's five volts coming from your DC power supply, and we're gonna plug that into our meter. So we're gonna take the ground of our five volt supply, and we're gonna connect that to our hot five volt on our meter. Let's see if I can get some weights here to hold stuff up in the film for you. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna grab, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab ground. All right, so let me see if I can get this in the film a little better. I, I think it's, just make sure we got this set up here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Do you see how, let me let me make sure I explain this right. I don't, I don't want you to get confused because if you, if you hook stuff up wrong, you can, you can uh, release the magic smoke. So we have our power supply, okay? Our power supply is five volt up to two amps. That's plugged in. Before we power that up, we're gonna make sure we're, we have from the power supply, we have our five volts. So this wire is connected directly to the power supply, okay? And this is the five volts and this is the ground. So we have our five volts going into our flight controller, or I'm sorry, our VTX. 
fill five volts into the VTX. And then in between we have our meter, okay? We have our two meter leads, our ground and our five volt. But in this case, it doesn't matter. We're just sticking our meter in between the circuits. So this ground would be connected here to power it up. But we didn't connect this ground here to power it up. We connected this ground to the hot side of our meter. So that way it has to flow through the meter, the current, the electrons have to flow through the meter to get to the board to complete the circuit. So that's the path. The only thing we're doing is sticking our meter in the middle of that path, okay? So once you power this up, okay, the five volt path is going into the uh, VTX and the ground has to go up and through the meter and then into the component, into the VTX. And we're just capturing, what is that? 0.51, so you can say half an amp. Now here's the thing, here's one thing I want. I want this to kind of sink in. If you're using a VTX and you're using a camera and you're using a GPS and you're using a receiver and you're, you, you know, you're using all of these different peripherals, you're using LEDs and all that stuff, you could possibly exceed your 5 volt regulator that's on your flight controller. Okay, you could exceed the 5 volt rail on your flight controller. And if that happens, when you're flying along, um, any voltage sag, because voltage is pressure, and when you sag your voltage, um, you know, you do a punch out or something, oh man, I lose my video, or I get an RX loss, or something of that nature. You're possibly overloading your 5 volt rail, or your 5 volt rail really isn't, um, you know, it's rated for one and a half amps, but it really isn't putting out it's not allowing that large of a flow. So that's the issue. So if you do an amp test to your components and you say, okay, I got a half amp here. I've got 0.23 or 0.28. I've even pulled 0.28 on this. Um, so you add those together and you add some LEDs and you add other components together and you exceed the, the amp rating of your 5 volt supply. That's where you get in trouble. Hey, I hope that helped you out. Uh, like I said, trying to do just a quick, quick hit here. Um, if you want to see how uh, to do an amp draw on a quadcopter, uh, I'll put another video up for that. But that's how you can do an amp draw uh, check on your peripherals that you're connecting up to. So, hey, if this helped you out, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it. <laughs> and you, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.